Hello and welcome back to Larfan Gaming Plays Dying Light 2. I'm your host Larfan. In this Dying Light 2 video guide, we're doing all the St. Paul Island military airdrops, plus their locations too. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Do not forget to hit notification bell so we'll be updated and much more. Great and wonderful news, everyone. There's only one military airdrop in this district. It has a requirement of 200 stamina, however, it's not that taxing for the most part. There's a little bit of a roof climb, but that's not bad either. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and show you not only the location, but how to get to the airdrop. I'll be back after all this is said and done. Once you do get the contents, including the upgrade inside the military airdrop, you're basically done with St. Paul Island of military airdrops. Well, everyone, this is it for my Dying Light 2 St. Paul Island military airdrop locations video guide. This is Laura Fence signing off. Thanks for watching, and have a great day or night. Please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more guides and content like this. If you like what you see, then pick my suggestion on the upper left hand corner of my videos or YouTube suggestions of my videos on the bottom left hand corner. Have a great day or night and stay human.